Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I guess you can call this the pre-season of the 15-gallon grassroots flower pot containers. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is pre-season because I need to get these ready. So in today's video, I'm just going to cut down these weeds and uh, show you how they look like because I haven't watered or did anything with them for about a month now. And uh, typically with soil, you don't want to do with it. you don't want to do that. You want to keep them watered so you keep the micros alive. So yeah, I guess we'll see how dry everything is. And look at the different soils. Uh, if you didn't know already, this one is my native soil. This is a sandy soil that I just bought sand from the store. And this is my biochar and native soil. Uh, you can see that blue tape, uh, but that was from when I was trying to grow uh, onions in here. But obviously those onions didn't survive because I didn't water, like I said. Uh, surprisingly, weeds did survive, but that's not what I'm trying to grow anyway. But yeah, we're going to try to fix the soils today and uh, maybe plant some pepperoncini peppers in here. But that's a different video entirely. Right now, we're going to get this fixed up. All right, guys. So this is my native soil. So uh, from what I can see, it looks really dry, like I said earlier. But uh, I'll, give us, I'll give you guys a better look if I can. Yeah, it's just... All dusty, breaking apart. It's kind of hot too, so uh, I guess that shows me I, I didn't add enough mulch in here. So I guess the first thing to do, right, is just to cut all these weeds and leave it as a mulch because it's free, so why not? And I'll let this break down before I start to plant because right now it's still too cold. To plant anything or any peppers at least I guess I could have done like a winter crop in here but uh I just never did that maybe next year and I can see there's some ladybugs so hopefully I don't actually kill them with my pruners and uh I remember last year that I mixed this with 10% compost and uh, I can't really tell if there's any compost in here now, but uh, I can see that there's some onions that are still alive, so maybe we can try to get a onion harvest before I uh, turn this into a pepper bed. I don't know if anything of uh, these weeds went to seed or not. Uh, hopefully it didn't, but we'll see. It looks like I cut this onion, but I think it's fine. People cut off the tops of their onions all the time, so I think uh, we'll be okay. And the next step I'm going to do with this 15-gallon uh, grass starter pot is water it. Uh, I water it slowly just so it can so the water can seep down and uh it, this way it doesn't drain all out but uh before i do that i'm just get into these raised these are uh, 15 gallon uh, fur pots and just do the same thing as the first raised bed and with this sandy soil uh it doesn't retain a lot of water so i probably have to water this like all the time or do a deeper mulch but I don't know, I don't think I could fit much more, much more of anything in here, so I can't even backfill this. So uh, I don't know what to do with this. I probably have to add more mulch to this, because that wasn't enough. I probably have to add more mulch to that too, but we'll see. And with this one, this is my biochar and native soil. I'll try to move out the mulchy parts and uh, grab my soil. And this is how it looks like. I don't know how well you can see that, but uh, it kind of looks pretty good. Um, it has some water, not too much. And uh, like I said, I am a water of these. Um, about like a month or so and uh today's tuesday it rained on saturday so 
it didn't get too much rain. It's supposed to rain that Saturday too. I think it's supposed to get 0.8 inches of rain this Saturday, but you know, the weather is never that accurate, so who knows. But yeah, I think I'll just have to mulch this also. I think the onions only survived them that my native soil, which I find very interesting. Okay, so that's it for the cutting part. Now let's get into the mulching, I guess, because I didn't have that much uh, weed is for it to be mulched. And in here, I just have um, the mulch that I had previously. Uh, you can see there's still water in here from all the rains we've been getting. And, uh, I'll probably like um, lightly mulch this one and uh, do a heavier mulch on the other ones. I think this is some waste of some good compost tea, but I think it's fine. I can always make like real actual compost tea, so I'm not so worried. Surprisingly, it doesn't smell that bad. It doesn't smell great either, but um, I just want this to dry out anyway since I didn't add the water, it was just from all the rain. Well, since this one's biochar, I can, I'll, add, I'll add the water into this one, just a little bit. Okay, with this one, I think I needed a little bit more mulch. Actually, I think it looks fine. Uh, I'll come back uh, in a week or two to see how I'm looking. If I need more mulch, then I'll add more mulch. But yeah, this is how it looks like so far. Right now, I'm just gonna water it in, and I'll be done. I'll be done for the day. All right, guys. So, like I said, this is the preseason of the 15 gallon grassroots flower pots, and uh, like I said, also I'm gonna water these slowly because uh, I want the water to penetrate deeper and uh, on top. Um, and if I see any weeds growing, like these weeds that were growing in the bucket, uh, if they keep growing still, I'm going to cut them down and knock them down. But yeah, basically I'm getting these 15 gallon grasses fiber pots ready to grow some pepperoni peppers. Uh, right now I'm starting them from seed indoors and hopefully they'll be ready to transplant outside into these gallons when uh, it's finally time to grow outside because we're still getting down to 40s and if you know anything about peppers peppers do not like it cold not even down below 50 so um i'm gonna just wait until we get to 50 degree nights uh pretty much regularly uh right now that's not happening 
So I don't have to water all of this in today. I could just do a little bit today and uh, come back tomorrow to see how it is. And if it's not the way that I like it, then I'll just keep watering it until it's to the consistency that I want. And when it's time to transplant those uh, peppers, I'll show you what it looks like. But until then, I think that's it for today's video. So, yeah. If you guys are used to the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.